young it is not ready for production okay personally i say that is a case of accepting defilement in in your home so don't accept remove them the plant does not have the capacity the energy to produce but if you let it do psychologically and it's it's in, in its body it will know that i have i am ready to produce so it will produce from here how many fruits do you expect from there it will not help you so don't allow it to to flower knock off the fl the flowers now let's talk about something here for this guys my first advice is that the root system of this tree is restricted okay you see where the basin is that is where the root system has been restricted when it grows bigger the basin for this tree is supposed to be here the root system is supposed to be here so they are supposed to extend the soil so that the root system reaches here the root system is equal to the canopy branch are we together mm. let us look at this tree this tree has a lot of roots right mm. a lot of fruits yeah. first it is not realistic for this tree how old is it then now comes the issue of flowers you get at three years at four years there is a certain production limit so in case you see your flowers dropping they are dropping because of two reasons the tree must naturally drop what it cannot carry okay mm. so what do you do this tree is very tricky if you don't stop it from dropping what it is supposed to drop it will drop everything when you go to fetch firewood with your kid and you leave the kid behind there i know most of you we did that your mother is ahead they give it given you a load to cut you reach somewhere in the corner you see the mother's gone you remove some sticks you throw you tie them after all if you reach home mom will have dropped her, her firewood and then gone to do other things you reach you drop your firewood you open it plus for mom you mix them so this tree will drop everything or almost everything if you don't stop it so how do you stop it the tree must have enough boron the tree must have enough zinc the tree must have enough sulfur those are the micronutrients that we talk about as this tree it is now you can see the stress that this tree is going through is it so is it happy no it is not happy so what do you expect from this from this fruit trust me it is going to drop this fruit like nothing it is too weak when a mother can't bear what does it do either it will die with the kid or miscarriage there will be a serious miscarriage here second thing missing here this tree will have been pinched so that it has enough foliage to cover this this fruit eh? now this is the beauty of avocado look at this when we tell you that kenyans are minting millions of shillings look at this single tree look at this single tree then you have 1000 of them raise it well when feed it well and then harvest it let me tell you the problem of this industry is not the prices the problem of this in this industry is on the fruits that you produce per tree are you getting me mm. produce 120 fruits times 1000 trees you don't care let them bring 2000 you are you are you go to dubai for a holiday <laughs> i'm telling you but if they bring 3000 and then this tree drops it to 30 30 fruits what do you get nothing nothing so the first thing before you think of those buyers about the prices make sure that you have enough fruits on your trees that if you calculate by 2000 you know that i've made enough money you will never control the prices you are a farmer you grow it but grow it well when you have quality people will come and fight over it and at Avoke, I will always tell you, or even nuts, when you have quality fruits, they will come and beg you and talk to you, and even you sign a contract in advance. They'll, that is what they are doing with Kenya. They give you 50% of the fruits hanging in the... But me, I know once you, they give you Gandan 50%, somebody will go to Kampana and leave them. Let us be honest as avocado farmers. You see, so, you stay in the casino. For... What we do, this tree, look at this production, and how old is it? This is three years. Yeah. Two years. They are saying two. two. When it's coming to two years. Two years. He told he, 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 he made Forget it in about it. October. Even if it is two years uh -huh. or three, mm. count this, these fruits 
and then bring them into production. Calculate with the number of trees in this orchard. Mm -hmm. When we tell you that you can be a billionaire in this industry, you will be a billionaire. But it will not happen until you do the right thing. At your time. Whether you pray, you tithe, <laughs> you fast, <laughs> avocado is a moody tree. Give it what it wants and it will give you what it, you want. Simple. What you give is what you get. There is no miracles in agriculture. Flower, flower formation, we see that uh, you need to feed your avocado with nutrients and which is boron. So you need to check your boron percentage. It needs to be high. And thanks to God that uh, we have Agrabase company here, they have good product for the same. Initially they had uh, Vano, but right now they have Kinara Faida for the same. It has boron. So when your, flower, uh, when your avocado tree is flowering, make sure that the nutrients that you give, it has boron, potassium, calcium. Okay. Come again. It has boron as the main component, potassium and calcium. Then during flower formation, that is when it starts to make the bulbs, the small ones. Make sure that you apply a foliar fertilizer that is rich in calcium, okay? We have pests and diseases that always affect uh, this uh, avocado. And uh, we have FCM, we have white flies, we what have FCM, fruit flies, what? FCM. FCM in full is false codling mold. We have white fly, we have fruit fly, we have mosquito bite. We have uh, we have caterpillars also they affect okay so you need to apply recommended insecticides we always put traps as you can see this trap this one is yellow trap okay so the function of the trap is to give us a view of how severe your farm has been affected by this insect if you can see this one is is already full so it means they need to take the measures and also the the the, the, the traps they only attract the the, the 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 mother the big ones the big ones but uh, uh, eggs lava and uh, pupa we need to apply insecticides that is recommended okay to prevent that one so do hard pinching with the secateur the soft pinching is a different thing the hard pinching, you have a stronger growth because it is a hard cut. Okay? So whatever you will do here, this is pinching, not pruning. And it must be done every two, two months. Come and pinch. If you do this, eh, what shoots here, by the time it turns green, it will be here. If you pinch it again, if you pinch it again, it will be here. And the next time it will be here. One of the biggest problems is that farmers don't pinch their seedlings and as such their seedlings grow vertical. So when the fruits the the fruits come, there is no enough canopy to cover them. And what happens? You are a friend of the oil guys. When you stop pinching, pinching is continuous. Why do you say a friend of the oil with sunburn? Who is your friend? The oil guys. If your fruits are good and clean, who is your friend? The export guy. Excuse me. Pruning is a serious cut. Have you seen a tree that has... There's a one with that... that uh, this tree. Every we'll leaf. Cut it mm. like somebody cutting fire. We cut it down, we balance it, we shape it. But in the process of pruning, we look at our dates and we calculate when your fruits will come. For us, we know that we, you expect the, the fruits during the high season. We will not prune your trees when we know that it will come into the off season. Mm -hmm. I will not do that because mm -hmm. it will create for me problems. Mm -hmm. I'll prune for you when I know that your trees will will uh, produce in the ice season. Pinching, right? Mm -hmm. This is pinching. Please pinch your seedling. Two, training. 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 Okay. Also training. Mm -hmm. When the trees grow to six, seven months. They are either they will grow on the left or on the right or in the middle. So in the train, what do we do? We come and shape it. 
remove the middle one. In most cases, we cut that middle one. Are you getting me? We cut the middle one first so that that growth that was going high should stop and that energy goes down so that we have branches. We need like three or four branches. Are we together? But you cannot get it when there is a dominant kid who is feeding on everything. Are we together? So that is training. We train it, then we look at, the, we balance the trees. This one is here, this one is here. So we come and shape it at a certain level. After two months, we come and raise that at a certain level. After another two months, we come and raise it until we have two and a half meters. And then we instruct you that anything that comes on top of that must be slashed out. It is a continuous every two months job. You don't want it to go beyond two and a half meters. Okay.